Making a Mallet, video two. You're gonna to go to one of the desktop CNC machines with the instructor. We're gonna show you how to warm the machine up, adjust the RPMs, and how to set the X, Y, and Z zero. With your board screwed to the bed of the machine, we have a computer file that's going to cut out the pieces of your mallet. In some of our other classes, you create these files all on your own, but for this, it's already made for you. Once the machine's all done cutting out your three pieces, we're going to move what's called the gantry back so that we can unscrew your board from the bed. Your pieces are still going to be held to the main board with tabs. You're going to use either a multi-tool or the bandsaw to cut them out. Before we glue our three pieces together, let's start by doing a light sanding. Taking off the machine marks, removing some of the tabs, and just generally getting it cleaned up before we glue it all together. Using four small wooden dowels in your alignment holes Get a glue bottle, a wet rag, and clamp your mallet up without glue. Upon approval from the instructor, let's glue up your mallet. Clamp it up just like you did on your dry clamp up. Clean up all glue squeeze out with your wet rag and put it away to dry overnight. The next day, after you unclamp your mallet and put the clamps away, it's time to start hand sanding or using some of the sanding machines to make all sides of our mallet smooth and pretty. The instructor is going to show you how to use either what's called a card scraper or a spoke shave to round the mallet's handle so that it fits nice in your hand. Once all sanding is done and the handle is comfortable in your hand, let's go put a light coat of oil on all sides of your mallet. Remember whatever rags you use to wipe off the extra, Make sure you dispose of them properly. This concludes video two of making a mallet. Let's get in the shop so we can get back to building. <laughs>